track storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Welcome back. I'm joined now by Storm Team 3 meteorologist Travis Clark Smith. It is the holiday weekend and unfortunately we've had some rain kind of covering up some of our plans. Yeah, we had some rain this afternoon and it's going to come back first thing tomorrow morning. But the good news is we got some drying out on the horizon starting tomorrow afternoon. So if you do have Veterans Day plans either tomorrow afternoon or on Monday, you're going to be looking really good. Today, high temperatures, you know, thanks to the rain and the higher dew points, our temperatures have been actually pretty steady throughout the day into the evening. 49 degrees was our Afternoon high here in Rochester with the average for today being 45 degrees. 50 was a pretty popular number. Preston, Austin, Albert Lee, Mason City, and Charles City all at 50 degrees for high temperatures today. 48 degrees in Forest City. Taking a live look at downtown Rochester, you can see some of that fog there. 46 degrees. And we got that dew point at 44. That is what is leading to that moisture that you're feeling, the fog. And it's also going to keep the temperatures from really going down much more. Winds out of the south southeast right now at 13 miles per hour. A little bit more difficult to see in Mason City as that fog is really settling in there. 47 degrees. Winds out of the south southeast at 11 miles per hour. So taking a look at visibility around the area, you can really see where the fog is settling in right around Rochester, Dodge Center, Preston, where the visibility is down to less than two miles. Now Mason City is showing nine, but you just saw on the live eye there, downtown Mason City, it is looking pretty dreary out there. So if you are headed out this evening and doing any driving around the area, you want to watch out for uh, keeping your low beams on, keep some distance from the vehicle ahead of you. Just be aware of your surroundings if you are hanging around in the fog. Taking a look at satellite and radar, we see that rain passed through earlier this afternoon. Now it is dry. We are just dealing with the fog, but that next round of rain is close by currently over eastern Nebraska where that low is spinning around and that low is going to pass right overhead through the afternoon hours tomorrow and we can expect that rain to be arriving first thing in the morning but it's not going to last much past midday so the morning is going to be one of those times where you really want to just kind of hang around and be cozy curl up with a good book and a cup of coffee because it's going to be a morning for it. As you can see, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, everybody dealing with that rain, maybe some heavier showers in North Iowa. But by noon, that rain is all but disappeared and the clouds will stick around through most of the afternoon. But as we get into the evening hours, as the sun sets around 5 o'clock, we'll start to see some breaks in those clouds. More breaks come in as we go through the overnight hours into Monday morning. A cold front will be passing through overnight tomorrow. That'll also bring those temperatures down into the mid 40s. 46 degrees for our overnight low tonight with that rain. Winds out of the southeast around 10 to 15 miles per hour. For tomorrow, that light rain will hang around through the morning, but by the afternoon, the clouds will start to clear out. 52 degrees for our afternoon high. And that seven day forecast where your weekend is always in view. We're seeing 46 degrees on Monday and then another chance of rain on Wednesday, but we'll be pretty steady with those temperatures in the low to mid 50s.